There's not a lot of time, so I gotta make moves. Hi everyone, James Anderson reporting here at Clark Bay for the North Coast Courier, where I'm soon to be joined by 20 year old Itete rapper Kenny Zama. Stay tuned for our conversation, which touches on the local hip hop industry, as well as a little bit about Kenny's life. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoy. Kenny, you know, is my brew, we are goats in the stew, I believe we just grew. All my voice clean and loud and fresh, I don't recall when I got flu. No lie, I'm cotton. Every day I wake up in the morning. So Kenny, thanks so much for joining us, man. Doing, man. Yeah, good, hey, thank you. Hey, yeah. So good I to have me, man. Yeah, of course. Thank so, you so much. As I explained, I know you're one of you know quite a cruiser's most upcoming yeah, hip-hop yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah. But I wonder if you can tell us a bit more about where you came from. Yeah, Are you originally yeah. from Quatakuza yes, and, and where do you stay now? Actually originating in a place in Quatakuza by the name of Telephone Coast Theatre, mm. which is actually a small hood. I know you lost your dad when you were young. Yeah, sure. Um, can you explain how that impacted you and, and perhaps how it's impacted on your lyrics? Yeah, well, yeah. So yeah, let's just start it off right from the, you know, from the base, man. Uh, so I uh, live with my mom, two sisters. My mom's goes by the name of Alice. Mm. Shout Moshe out Alice, Astabia. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my Alice Moshia Astavia, mm. who's actually currently working at the court, part of the municipality court. Awesome. And I have two sisters. Uh, just living with my two sisters and, you know, my mom, it's been difficult, you know what I'm saying? Not having a father figure there. Mm. But then uh, my mom remarried around, I think, 2019. She's always been, you know, that father figure there for me, you know what I'm saying? Mm. She's been both my parents, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And you know, I couldn't be grateful. It's a mm. blessing to have her here, still there, on her feet, grinding, you know, for me and my, you know, my family members. Mm. So yeah, it's an honor, you know, and for me to be doing what I'm doing, you know, currently. Have you had a much chance to perform locally? I have, you know what I'm saying? The last time I did perform was last year, and I haven't actually looked back. But you got, I, a, you got a taste of being on stage. Yeah. You, you know what it's like to be in front of a crowd. I have, you know, and it's, mm. you know, it's so flipping awesome, you know what I'm saying? The vibe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's like an achievement for me, for me to walk out in, out of the stage and meet someone I know, to actually sing out a song or tell me the title of a song, especially if I don't know, you know. It's for like sure. a big accomplishment for me, you know what I'm saying? So if you can tell us about some of the stuff you featured on, yeah. and then I understand you've also released your own record recently. Yes, can you tell us what that's called and, and actually, where we can find it? Yeah, well, I actually got a record label by the name of Renzo Records, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Actually inspired by my, my boy Ice Teddy and Renzo, you know what I'm saying? They were just the two of us, you know? And this all began, you won't even believe this, this all began with a cell phone, you know what I'm saying? We started off recording with a cell phone, which was a, a Huawei P9, if I'm not mistaken. It all began with that, you know, recording with that cell phone, you know, at the hood. Guys never believed in us, because they'd ask us, how are you guys recording with a cell phone? Yeah. And that the music production sounds like, you know, you guys used you know, a lot of, you know, music equipment and whatnot. Mm, mm. So ever since, you know, I, I experienced what my guy can do, you know, with his hands, you know, he's got magic fingers. I decided to, you know, start a record label called Renzo Records, you know what I'm saying? Partnership with him, because he's the one always producing, you know what I'm saying? And he's the one producing mm. all the guys around the hood, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's Renzo Records, which will be launching out soon, very, very, very soon. We are dropping a couple of songs here and there in Spotify. You can find us. I've, I've seen there's, there's just for the people who haven't heard you before. Yes. There's a there's a great one on SoundCloud yes. already called Cipher. Cipher, yeah, that's that people should look Cypher, out for. Yeah. Part one, which we also have a part two that will be coming soon. You know, there's no rush. Now. So I know, speaking on behalf of our viewers who may not have heard about you, uh, I've heard Cipher, which you can find now on SoundCloud. Yeah. And yeah, we're expecting big things from you, Kenny. Yeah, I, I really like it, and yeah. uh, I think people are going to be keen to hear it, man. Yeah, just stay tuned. Man. Awesome, man. I'm the talk of the town in my hood. That's why they hate me on every each topic. They be loving how a nigga drool. I'm from me, they find the ironic. I'm from me.